All right, the song says, reach up high, touch the ground, stomp our feet and turn around, because we have to praise the Lord. And I will do anything to please my God, because He has done everything for me. Touch the ground, on my feet and I turn around. Got to praise the Lord. Jump and dance with all my might. Might look funny, but that's alright. Got to praise the Lord. Reach up high, touch the ground. Stomp my feet and I turn around. Got to praise the Lord. Jump and dance with all my might. Might look funny, but that's all right. Got to praise the Lord. I'll do anything just for my Lord. He's done everything for me. Doesn't matter who is looking on Jesus is the person that I want to please So reach up high, touch the ground Stomp my feet and I turn around Got to praise the Lord Jump and dance with all my might might look funny, but that's all right. Got to praise the Lord. May my whole life be a song of praise. Worship you in every way. In the song, the actions praise your name. Every day to do the same So reach up high, touch the ground Stomp my feet and I turn around Got to praise the Lord Jump and dance with all my might Might look funny but that's alright Got to praise the Lord I've got to praise the Lord. I've got to praise the Lord. All right. So we are here to praise the Lord. You know, the good thing about God's word is that it speaks to us and it tells us what to do and how to do it. So we, we just have to follow what God's word tells us. So, so that's one of the encouragements that we have, that we can always follow God's word. We can trust it. God has spoken and we can trust his word. You know what the song says? You know, when Israel was going towards the promised land, God was going in front of them as a pillar of cloud and uh, as a pillar of fire. You know? So the cloud would be there during the daytime and the fire would be there during the night time. So, but there are some times when God would stop moving, then the Israelites would also camp there. You know? The cloud, when it stops moving, or the pillar of fire, when it stops moving, then the Israelites would camp in the desert. And then when the pillar moves again, the cloud or the fire moves again, then the Israelites would get up, pack up their tents and move with God. That's how we also ought to be. You know, When we listen to God's word, when we study God's word, we wait for him to move and then we follow him. Wait for him to command and then we follow him. So whatever he tells us, we should be doing that. That's what the song says. I will go where you go. I will follow you. All 
All your ways are good, all your ways are sure. I will trust in you alone, higher than my sight, high above my life. I will trust in you alone, in you alone. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. Who you love, I love. How you serve, I serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you. I will follow you. Light into the world, light into my life. I will live for you alone. You're the one I seek, knowing I will find all I need in you alone. In you alone. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. Who you love, I love. How you serve, I'll serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you. I will follow you. In you there's life everlasting. In you there's freedom for my soul. In you there's joy, unending joy. I will follow where you go. I'll go where you stay. I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. Who you love, I love. How you serve, I serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you. I will follow you. pray. Heavenly Father, you show the light into our lives. And in you we have life, in you we have life in abundance. Help us, O Lord, to seek after you with all our heart, with all diligence, knowing that you can be found through the pages of scripture as we study. God's voice speaks to us. It helps us, it guides us, and it leads us forward like a pillar of cloud, like the pillar of fire when the Israelites were walking through the desert, your word guides us and leads us. It helps us to move forward. It helps us to grow in our spiritual life, in our wisdom and our understanding. It helps us to grow. This evening we pray that you would speak wisdom to our hearts. You would speak knowledge to our minds. And Father, you would help us to grow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so let's turn our Bibles to the book of Acts. All right, we had finished, um, you know, we had not finished chapter one. I think we are right on the, almost to the end of chapter one. All right, so uh, Acts chapter one and verse 15 onwards. Acts chapter 1, verse 15 onwards. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples, altogether number of names was about 120, and said, Men and brethren, this scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke before by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered with us 
and obtained a part in this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the wages of iniquity, and falling headlong he burst open in the middle, and all his entrails gushed out. And it became known to all those dwelling in Jerusalem, so that field is, is called in their own language, Akkal Dhamma, that is field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let him dwelling let his dwelling place be desolate and let no one live in it and let another take his office therefore of these men who have accompanied us all the time the lord jesus went in and out among us beginning from the baptism of john to that day when he was taken up from us one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection and they proposed to joseph called barsabbas who was surnamed justus and matthias and they prayed and said, You, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they cast their lots, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. So, in those days, when, when they were sitting together, the number of people, the number of disciples who were there in the upper room, including the apostles, it was 120 people okay so already the list was there the disciples names were there the, i mean the apostles names were there and then we also see that mary the mother of jesus and his brothers were there so without including them there were another huge crowd that was there in the upper room so 120 people who were jesus's followers had gathered there now only the apostles are mentioned as people who were with jesus you know all the time but there were other disciples also who had seen jesus from the time of his baptism all the way to his death and resurrection so there were other disciples who were with them from the beginning okay so uh, what is peter saying peter is saying that uh, what judas did you know, without knowing you know the the whole story judas had actually um, what do you call it? fulfilled scripture prophecy that was already said about him in the book of psalms by david David is a prophet who wrote uh, the Psalms. So he says, uh, most of the Psalms are written by King David. So King David had actually prophesied about the uh, betrayer who would betray the Messiah. Okay? But David actually wrote, you know, maybe because in his lifetime, there was a person called, you know, a trusted friend. His name was Doeg, D-O-E-G. Okay? Not dog, his name is Doeg. Okay. So Doeg is a man who was a trusted uh, you know, assistant of David, but then that man betrayed David and it caused a lot of loss and, and a lot of soldiers actually died because of that betrayal. So when David was writing the psalm, he would have been thinking about this man who betrayed him. But when he wrote the psalm, it was actually going to be fulfilled in Jesus' life. See, So Jesus also had a betrayer among his close friends and his name was Judas Iscariot. He's the one who betrayed him with a kiss. He's the one who actually took money from the Pharisees to betray Jesus. Why would he want to betray Jesus? The reason being that all the disciples and Jesus almost looked alike. They were all from the same region, you know. So their appearance, their dressing, their face, everything looked like a normal Jew. So they, they were coming to arrest Jesus at night. So if they had caught the wrong person, like for example, if they had caught Philip or if they had caught, um, you know, uh, Peter, they would have thought that it is Jesus and they would have arrested him. And then later on, they will find out that, you know, it was not Jesus whom they arrested. So they did not want the confusion. So they influenced one person from the group. And Judas was that man who was willing to betray Jesus. So he took money, uh, you know, 30 silver pieces, and then he betrayed Jesus. So uh, this money, you know, uh, uh, what he did is explained here in the gospel of matthew also at the end of the gospel of matthew you see that you know uh, a similar uh, instance is said about judas also you know how he died now in this passage it says that you know uh, he purchased a field uh, with this money and it is called the field of blood okay now there are two reasons why this field is called the field of blood reason number one is that um, he went and committed, Judas went and committed suicide there. He went and hanged himself. And when he died, after some time, the rope broke. And he fell down, maybe on a sharp stone, and he cut his stomach open, you know. And all his internal organs came out. It's a very horrible death. It's a horrible scene when people went there and they saw his dead body. 
uh, you know uh, he had already committed suicide he had already died but then he fell down and his stomach ripped open and everything came out from inside his body you know so that was a very gruesome sight and uh, uh, because his blood fell on the land it would have been called the field of blood another reason why it is called the field of blood is you know the money that they gave to judas judas actually went and threw that money into the uh, pharisees you know council you know where they were meeting together into that hall he just threw the money because he wanted to actually backtrack on that he was feeling bad that he had betrayed jesus so he went back to them and said release jesus i'll give you the money back and they said no no leaving jesus and all you got the money now go away so he got upset with that he didn't want the money now so he threw the money at the pharisees and he went off now the pharisees won't touch it because this is what they call blood money you know they had used this money to buy an innocent man's blood they had paid judas to betray his own master so that money which they gave is now called blood money okay? because an inner, a man's blood is associated with that jesus blood is now associated with that so they called it blood money now the pharisees will never take that blood money into the um, into their pockets because they know that god will hold them accountable so what did they do they bought that field where judas died they brought that they, they paid the money and they bought the field for burying people who are strangers you know when somebody comes to our town and he dies and we don't know who that person is or when a poor man with no relatives dies you know so that that uh, corpse can be buried in that place you know and uh, orphan corp you know which doesn't corpse which does not have anybody to claim a dead body which cannot be identified that can be buried in that place so a field of blood is actually that money with which jesus was betrayed thrown by judas the pharisees used it to buy this plot where all these you know nameless fellows will be now buried okay including this man who was who died committing suicide judas also could have been buried there but judas did not know the body remains here where does judas go that's what peter says you know peter says uh, therefore um, uh, where is that um, he says uh, well um yeah he went where he belonged you know uh, Ju- uh went in uh, among us uh, sorry where is that uh, yeah he says verse verse 25 from which judas by transgression fell that he might go to his own place see jesus never wanted judas to go to hell okay now peter is talking about hell here why because that is where judas is going to end up because he never repented of his sin he never believed in jesus he never trusted in jesus as his savior you know all this while three and a half years jesus was with judas all the other apostles believed in jesus and they all were saved but judas did not repent judas did not receive jesus as his savior so he chose to go to hell himself so that's why peter says you know he has gone to his own place so anybody who doesn't put his trust in jesus anybody who does not believe that jesus is their savior that person has already chosen his own place and that place is hell you know so that's the biggest tragedy god came down and he died on the cross for us so that you and i would be saved and if you and i are rejecting that offer the blame is on us the responsibility is on us that we go to hell of our own choice and that is what happened to judas so peter is saying we need somebody to take his office now that office cannot belong to judas because judas is already dead so we need somebody to replace him we need to be the 12 apostles again Jesus had already chosen 12 so the intention was that he should have the 12 number why because each of these 12 apostles represent one of the tribes of Israel there are 12 tribes in Israel you know they are the Jacob's sons but 12 tribes are resp- uh, uh, represented by one apostle each so 12 apostles so they are the new Jerusalem you know they are the new Israel the believing Israel the spiritual Israel so spiritual Israel is represented by 12 apostles the physical israel was represented by 12 sons of jacob jacob had 12 sons in two wives he had 12 sons you know so uh, that 12 were the beginning of the 12 tribes of israel so same like that and jesus also chose 12 apostles so peter says the number should be 12 again so whom shall we choose so they they selected from the people who were there with them from the beginning when jesus was baptized till he ascended to heaven there should have been somebody who was a witness who was an eye witness to all these events all the miracles that jesus did all that jesus spoke there are many many disciples who were eye witnesses to that 
from that group they chose two people and those two people were justus and matthias okay barsabas means son of sabas okay son of abbas son of abbas okay so that could be his actual name is uh, uh, justus so justus and matthias they were the two people's names that came out now what did they do to choose who from among this you know they, like how we put toss they put what is called uh, you know uh, lot they'll put these two names you know and clicking in and they'll put and one person will come and take it and they'll say they'll open it the scroll and read it and they'll say okay the person who has been chosen is and then they'll shout the name matthias so justus is not chosen but he's still a disciple you know he'll be still with the group it's not that you know justus gets up and says okay so i lost this uh, round so i'll leave this place no just like how we played the game and you know because just because uh, you know nobody lost and everybody won the same way Ju justus uh, doesn't get angry with that he remains as a disciple but he's not one of the apostles but one of the apostles now is matthias matthias was there as an eye witness from the beginning till jesus's ascension so he was also a faithful disciple now he has become a apostle now uh, once the 12 were chosen now why don't we do that you know why is it that we don't uh, put toss and all now why don't we put lots now to make decisions now that reason is very simple because this was a time before the holy spirit came into their hearts the holy spirit had not yet come into their hearts you know so they did not know how to make a decision they did not know how to be guided by the holy spirit so they had to put lots but before putting lots they prayed because god who sees the hearts of people would choose god sees the heart of matthias and god sees the heart of justus so god should be the one who chooses his apostle so jesus himself has chosen you know the lots were influenced by the holy spirit and the right name came out and matthias was chosen why we don't use it now is because now in chapter 2 itself the holy spirit comes and now the holy spirit lives inside our hearts so all we have to do is pray and ask the holy spirit lord help me to choose wisely and the holy spirit will show us whom to choose you know so from that wisdom we choose one person so this is what they were doing they never put lots after the second chapter before the second chapter they put the lots because they were not having the holy spirit in their hearts right now so after the holy spirit came they never put lots they decided by asking the holy spirit and the holy spirit would show them or guide them to who that person is okay so that's how the apostles chose the next disciple who would fill in the gap for judas and matthias was chosen as that person right so they cast their lots and the lot fell on matthias and he was numbered with the 11 apostles okay now there is one more apostle yet to come and that person's name is paul you know he is the only other apostle other than this 12 jesus chose the 12 but there one more is there you know and jesus also chose the 13th one he only chose apostle paul now why did he choose uh, 12 disciples as apostles and the one who is called paul again now the reason is that these 12 apostles represent i said the 12 tribes of israel but then the gospel had to be taken outside of the jerusalem outside to the outside of the jews to the gentiles and paul was chosen as the apostle to the gentiles okay so that is why paul as a 13th man was chosen so these apostles were the 12 who represented the jews and paul was the one who was going to represent the gentiles so that is the group that we belong to non jews we are the non jews we are outside of the jewish uh, you know kingdom so we are the gentiles so apostle paul actually represents us so we uh, are blessed because god chose apostle paul who would take the gospel to the gentiles so 13 apostles in all 12 of them jesus chose when he was alive uh, one of them died judas he was replaced by matthias after jesus's resurrection matthias was chosen and then jesus directly appeared to paul who was saul at that time and be made him a uh, follower and he also chose him to be an apostle to the gentiles jadigalde apostle nayata chose him so that is the whole number 13 okay 12 representing the old jewish nation the 12 tribes and one representing the gentiles who are outside of israel so that's 
that's the story of the apostles so next week we are going to see how the holy spirit comes inside us and now starts to live in each of the believers and the church age begins okay so that's next week let's pray heavenly father i want to thank you o master for the way in which the apostles prepared themselves they were waiting in prayer and they chose one person from among them who had seen who was eye witness to jesus's works ministry and words and that is the man called matthias we also remember judas the one who betrayed who acted like he was an apostle who acted like he was a follower but his heart was far away from jesus and the field that he bought was not a blessing at all it became the field of blood father he also committed suicide he did not repent of his sin and come back to you for forgiveness but he died a horrible death and his eternity o oh lord is in hell that's a very big tragedy help us to understand that we cannot keep on rejecting jesus here because we also will end up where judas ended up help us to understand that you're a god who wants to save us who desire that his children be saved and that is why you came and you died for us and you rose again help us to believe it and acknowledge you as our lord and savior so that we would be saved today help us o oh lord to be guided by the holy spirit every day so that we won't make mistakes but we would choose wisely the decisions that we need to take help us to choose wisely in jesus precious name we pray amen